Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna do another versus video. Today's versus video is on Elmaza versus Beirut. Now both these beers are from Lebanon and they're the only two that I know of that are sold in the United States or that I've seen and there might be others that I don't know of. So for Elmaza, we have an 11.2 fluid ounce bottle and product of Lebanon. Um, alcohol by volume is 4.2%, so not real heavy. Then we have Beirut, which I'm still pretty new to. Um, there's a new liquor store that opened up um, a little north of me, and they had this, and it was really the only time I've seen it. This is an 11.2 fluid ounce bottle as well, um, and it contains 4.6% alcohol by volume. So either one isn't really going to uh, weigh you down. Now, El Maza, the first time I had that was actually at a Lebanese restaurant years ago. Uh, that I started going to, and every time that I go there, I always get the I always get that beer because they always have it. And as I say, Beirut is fairly new to me, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, I also found out about El Maza from um, when I lived in an apartment. There was a uh, a maintenance guy who was actually originally from Lebanon, and he he told me all about it. And you know, we got to talking about beer one day. He goes, "Oh yeah, that's really good. You know, you got to try it." So I was like, "Well, okay, I'll try it." So, which one is better? Let's uh, let's go with Almaza first. Hmm. That is very good. It's got a very sweet, um, almost kind of nutty kind of taste. Very similar to Keo, which is, uh, Keo is actually one of my favorite beers ever. Now let's uh, see what Beirut does. Hmm. That's got a... Um, it's got a little bit of a similar taste to it. It's slightly different. There's a little less nuttiness to it, but it's still got the sweetness to it. Um, El Maza seems to have a bit of a stronger flavor and Beirut seems to be slightly more subdued. So, one more shot of the El Maza. Mmm. That's really good. That's really good. Mm. Both beers are really good. This one is kind of a tough decision. We'll do it the other way around. Mm. All right, so uh, this is the decision maker right here. Mm. Boy, this is a real tough one. But if I'm going to pick a winner here, it's going to have to be Almaza. Um, the flavor just pops a little bit more. It's a bit more satisfying and it just has a really unique taste to it. Um, now, it was a tough choice. The Beirut is still a very good beer. I mean, Beirut still has a really good taste and I, and I do like it very much. Um, and I would say if you haven't had Beirut, do try it. I think it'll be worth your time. But I have to say, I, I just I just like the Almaza a little bit better. I just, um, the flavor just pops a little bit more, and it just has a bit more interesting of a, ta of a taste. So, um, Almaza gets, uh, gets the edge on this one. 
but neither are bad choices by any means. So guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day and stay safe.